Hola mi gente, it's Jenny. Aquí with another Abuela Mami unboxing. I've come to the realization that I'm really bad at opening things. You no tengo paciencia. I'm just like, ah! There's like a cat fiddle floating in the air. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing is galleta molida. Cracker meal is the translation. I feel like almost every Cuban has someone named Yeya in their family. I had a tia yoya. It is best used to make Cuban style breaded steak or chicken. You can also use this for homemade croquetas. You know, we've attempted at making homemade pastelitos and they come out pretty good, but I've never, I've never attempted nor have I known anyone to attempt homemade croquetas. So if you got this box and you got yaya up in here. Yaya! Okay! I'm a loser. Up next, we've got a Mom favorite, hold up. You'd think, you know, looking at it, right? You'd think these are pork rinds because it says skins, but in cursive writing right above it, it says vegetarian, vegetal. So these are imitation pork rinds. I would, I never thought I would see the day. Let's face it, okay? I live in LA now and you know over here there are a lot more vegan vegetarian paleo gluten-free restaurants but in miami it's still really tough to find i didn't know that a vegetarian option existed for pork rinds i'm blown away and now i'm going to eat a vegetarian chicharron this is some freaking sorcery. It tastes like a freaking chicharrón. Goya. Salad and vegetable seasoning. This is something that I never really saw in my household because it was more about el arroz y los frijoles y la carne. Sprinkle over any salad for an extra enjoyable meal. Add oil and vinegar to taste or your favorite dressing. I didn't know you could guanichify your salads. Cassava chips which cassava means yuca. Cubans eat yuca with everything, like for real. It's like Cuban potatoes. That's the best way I can describe it to people. They're like, what's yuca? What's yaca? Is it yaki? Is yaca yaki? Like my abuela and every other abuela used to say, como inventan las cosas. These chips are gluten-free with zero trans fats. So whoever told you that all Cuban food was fattening is wrong, but mostly right. Okay. Here we go, la cubanita, bing bing ging ging. I feel like most TV shows and films, whenever they take place in Miami, it's always the same shot. It's the same like helicopter drone shot of the of the MacArthur Causeway with the music bing bing ging bing ging bing ging ging bing boom boom boom. It's like so predictable. It's like all right, bro. Like, does everyone live on the MacArthur Causeway? Like, come on. You don't see the viejos playing domino. You don't see las mujeres giving cafecitos in the bakery. You don't see people trying to kill each other on the on the road. Miami. From the brand La Cubanita, we have Napolitano, which is guava and milk cream. Layers of tropical goodness. See the layers? <gasps> I enjoy it by itself or with crackers or with a wedge of white cheese because everything's about cheese kimbara, kimbara, kumba, kim okay this is not a shake wait let me stop get your minds out of the gutter this is adobo seasoning without pepper is great for meat poultry fish seafood and vegetables you can basically find this inside of any cuban abuela's kitchen cabinet you just open it i made adobo it's like a secret weapon like they know something that we don't they like press a button and like their kitchen goes <laughs> And it's like a headquarters, like to see who hasn't eaten, who has taken a bath after eating, who's not wearing a sweater, who's a callejera. I'm coming on to you, abuelas. Ah, yes, frijoles negro. This is Cuban style black bean soup by the brand El Ebro. Hey, bro, what's up, bro? Everyone's like, why do, why do you girls say bro? Girls aren't supposed to say bro. I'm like, you clearly have not been to Miami. And it really doesn't matter what kind of people you have in between your legs. Everyone says bro. Okay, so deal with it, bro. Black bean soup, the way that Abuela used to prepare it. Add some white rice or crackers to hit the spot. Mama's Guava Bars. I've actually never seen this brand before. It's super cute. It's like a little guava cut in half. And he's holding a tray 
of guava bars. This small company was created by two Cuban American friends. So Abuela Mami is debuting these tasty guava bars nationally. Enjoy them with a cafe cubano or dice them up and put it on top of ice cream. Okay, so we got these two cute little treats here by El Farro Bakery, which this translates as peanut nugget and this is sesame seed. I think these are a pretty big token of our childhood. Of course, how can you have a cajita de Abuela Mami without having some Café Royale coffee? Okay, so how could my sticker collection be complete without a croqueta sticker? Yo, these look like the croquetas, like those mini ones that you would see at parties. It would be the first thing to go. You'd have your bocaditos with like the ham spread in the middle. Then you'd have the little pastelito de carne, de queso, de guaya. And then you had the tray of croquetas. And I swear to you, the party wouldn't even start. The party would be like a minute in. Y ya se acabó los freaking croquetas. So thank you guys for watching me unbox these nostalgic Miami Cuban goodies. So if you guys are interested in subscribing to Abuela Mami, giving it a shot, or buying it for a friend that is stuck in the middle of nowhere America, donde no hay ni papa, of Cuban food, be sure to subscribe to abuelamami.com slash Jenny Lorenzo. I also have a Facebook group that I started through my page, through my Facebook page called Pachanga Con Yeni. And I created the group so that there could be more of a community um, amongst the people who watch my videos and share recipes. It's, it's really nice. So I think that would be a pretty cool group for you guys to join and like get into the pachanga. Thank you guys and stay tuned for next month's Abuela Mami unboxing. I love you. I'm like, no, bro, it's super good. And I'm gonna tell a horror story. Okay, ready, kids? <laughs> Have you watched Are You Afraid of the Dark? <laughs>